hustle and bustle of our economy is a scene we have historically taken for granted, seeing how our fellow citizens moving about our world as they pursue a life filled with possibility and potential is something that has seemingly been a staple of our American economy. A recent pandemic all but shut down the American country in its entirety. Mandatory shelter-in-place orders, reduced work staff, the shuttering of doors for thousands of privately owned businesses caused a rift so massive that many people and organizations never bounced back. Despite the country's economic climate beginning to return to normal, the current state of the American working class finds themselves in is one of uncertainty. Rising gas prices, continued supply chain issues, and the constantly rising cost of living across the entire nation has affected persons of all backgrounds, professions, and age. We thought it was time to pull back the curtain and focus on the particular demographic within the country, a role often taken for granted in its importance and necessity to our way of modern life, the essential food delivery worker. Thank you for your time today. Could you tell me your name and what you do for a living? Sure, uh, my name is Tom Branch. I'm 33 years young and I deliver groceries. Thank you, Tom. And did you start doing this during the pandemic? I did, yeah. Um, you know, at the start of the pandemic, I was unfortunately laid off. Had to make up the gap uh, somewhere, so I got a job, thankfully, with our local grocer. And I'm able to uh, bring groceries straight to your doorstep. So um, it's been great, you know, especially with uh, a lot of the mandatory lockdowns. Um, you know, feeling like I'm an essential worker, feeling like I'm helping the community, um, helping people stay safe. Uh, has, has been really empowering for me. Hi, my name is Tina and I deliver food to your door. And Tina, how has the economic climate impacted your life? Honestly, it's been a little rough. Um, I'm a single mom, so I decided to do food delivery to four school supplies this year. Uh, so that's been hard and some of the food orders that I've gotten um, are more than I make in a day. So that's been hard to do. Of course, I would love to see my kids more, but you know how that is. While there were many similar stories to Tom and Tina's, the current state of the American economy has also stirred up interesting behavior in many people, sometimes even the customers themselves. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience as a food delivery driver? Yeah, so I've been doing this now maybe about six months or so. Um, pays pretty good, but the worst part about it is the, the neighborhoods and the people, the old people especially. Um, they tip you horribly, and if you forget anything like the, the pickles or napkins, what, what the f***? What? You realize how salty these are? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Much like the contrast from the beginning of the pandemic compared to society's behavior a year into it, the sense of sanity witnessed in our interviews similarly began to decline, sometimes in notable ways. Hey David, thanks for joining us today. Would you mind telling me a little bit about how the supply chain issues have impacted your job as a delivery driver? Supply chain issues? Man, supply chain issues can fill up my nuts, all right? I've been waiting on my calendar for five whole weeks and I still haven't gotten anything. I'm sorry, your calendar? Yeah, my calendar. Uh, did you say dad bod days? Yeah. Stop doing it. Would you please stop doing it? That's you know, it's about it's a little uh, business venture I've been doing, uh, like a calendar for dad bod. Yeah. Hey, Tom, thanks for joining us today. Would you mind telling me a little bit about how the supply chain issues have impacted your job as a delivery driver? Yeah, so I've been waiting on my calendar for Maybe a little saucy, like, maybe a little hot sauce right here, a little drop of like top. Like, like, you know, women like, women like delicacy, right? You know, that's what I'm thinking, right? Right, Jack? Well, what about, Dad, can we please stop soon? My counselor did say that this wasn't good for me. Okay, what about this? Jack, snap the crack. Snap the crack, Jack. What about like a little bit of the, a little bit of the pop action, you know? I don't know what they think that's a pro 
Well, the smooches. Well, you know, I have to say it's, it's it's something that me and my son really enjoy doing together. You know? <laughs> I should be in summer school right now. Jack, get the race. Bear season's over. You know, the military doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> and while some of these everyday people have found struggle, others have found opportunity. While others have had to pursue a more entrepreneurial avenue of supplementing their income. Thank you. 